Before Ipo gets his first ever professional boxing match, he first took the professional certification exam. And he passed it easily, after knocking down his opponents with a solid right straight to the face. Our protagonist is now a sea licensed boxer. After a few days, Kamogawa announced that the schedule for his debut match was all set. His first opponent is going to be Yusuke Oda. Ipo found out that Oda had already fought 5 times, with a record of 3 wins, 2 losses, and 3 knockouts using his solid right straight. Ipo started preparing for this fight, and learned new combinations of punches during their sparring with Aoki. They first met at their weigh-in and both passed. Because of what Oda learned from his girlfriend, that Takamura was discussing him and calling him a clown, they almost broke up because of this. When Ipo asked him about it, he angrily responded and was determined to win the fight. The fight of our protagonist, which will be 4 rounds, is about to start. As the bell rang, Oda quickly charged and released a powerful right straight. Oda remained aggressive and continued his attack using various combinations of punches. But all of these were easily evaded by our protagonist. Ipo counterattacked with his own right straight and sent Oda flying to the corner. Oda was surprised by the power of Ipo's punches, which were penetrating his defenses. The first round ended without any knockdowns. Both coaches told their boxers to continue the fight, to not back down, and to exchange solid punches. The intense second round started, no one backing down and continually exchanging solid punches. Our protagonist successively landed body blows, which little by little had an effect on Oda. Our protagonist quickly charged, but he slipped and was grazed by Oda's hook, which caused a cut on his eyebrow. The fight almost ended because of this. But the doctor said, It's fine, and the cut is far from vital organs. After that, the second round ended. In Ipo's corner, he pleaded with his coach to stop the bleeding so the fight wouldn't end. And Kamogawa applied a secret medicine to stop the bleeding quickly. Before the fight started, Ipo's coach told him to finish the fights before his wound starts bleeding again. The third round is about to start but Oda's knockdown has visibly affected him, and he was losing strength in his legs. The bell rang and Oda aggressively charged. He clinched and rained punches on Ippo, which caused our protagonist's wound to bleed again. He continued his attack, but all of his moves were evaded by Ippo. Ippo was unable to fight back and just before the referee could stop the fight due to Ippo's injury, he switched to a southpaw style which surprised Oda. Because he isn't used to this style, the power of his punches changed, so Oda took advantage of this and remained aggressive. When our protagonist was cornered, he was showered with various punches, but he couldn't do anything but defend. The referee considered stopping the fight, but Ipo remembered Takamura's teachings on how to throw jabs, and he consecutively connected solid right jabs to Oda's face. When Ipo was about to release a left straight to end the fight, the referee stopped him and saw that Oda had already lost consciousness while his eyes were open due to Ipo's jabs. Ipo was declared the winner at 2 minutes 35 seconds of round 3. A few days later, the whole school heard about Ipo's fight. Because of this, the Umezawa gang asked when his next fight would be. And here we found out that Ipo would fight again after a month, but he still didn't know who his opponent would be. Fuji brought Ipo a VHS of Miyata's fight to study, and he saw Ipo training using the peekaboo style. In preparation for his next fight, because he lacked defense in his fight with Oda, the peekaboo style was invented by the famous trainer Castiamato. It was used by Mike Tyson to dominate his opponents at close range. Ipo found out who his next opponent would be. It's Yoshio Fujiwara, who has one win and one loss and won by unanimous decision. A month passed quickly and the day of Ipo's fight arrived. The Umizawa gang came to observe our protagonist. Ipo's fight began. And here, Ipo showed this new peekaboo style technique. Ipo relentlessly advanced and unleashed a solid right straight that penetrated his opponent's defense. His opponent couldn't fight back and was hit by a combination of body blows and punches to the face. When Yoshio got a blind spot on the referee, he headbutted our protagonist and followed it up with a right straight that knocked him down. Ipo got up again and attacked. In his mind, 
I can't be knocked down again because the fight is 4 rounds with a 2 knockdown system. Our protagonist successively connected with body blows, but he was headbutted again and took many punches. The referee stopped the fight and warned Yoshio. The fight continued and they both landed punches simultaneously, but Yoshio was more affected and our protagonist took advantage of this. Ippo rained punches on the cheating Yoshio. Yoshio tried to headbutt again, what a jerk! But Ippo was ready for it and seemed unaffected, and he released an uppercut that knocked him down. The spectators all counted to 10, and Ippo was declared the winner. Ippo's fight ended with a big lump, and Kamogawa and Yagi laughed loudly because of this. Here it was also shown that the Umizawa gang who used to bully him had become fans of Ippo. Ippo won in the first round at 2 minutes and 50 seconds. After several days, the lineup for the Rookie King tournaments arrived at the Kamogawa Boxing Gym. Here, our hero learned the name of his next opponent, Jason Otsumo. Fuji arrived and everyone found out that the opponent is a foreigner. His real name is Jason Azuma and like Ippo, he is an orthodox fighter. He already has 3 wins all by knockout. Here, we find out that with the power of Jason's punches, he punctures the sandbags he uses for training. While our hero is training for his fights, he is nervous and thinking that his opponent Jason is definitely strong and dangerous, but he became determined and stopped thinking about negative things. When Jason arrived in Tokyo, a fellow boxer challenged him to a sparring match and bragged about his own skills, but Jason quickly knocked down the arrogant fool with a solid left hook. The punch was so powerful that the braggart had to be taken away by ambulance. Kamogawa and the others found out about this, so he set up a sparring match between Takamura and Ippo. This was because foreign fighters often have stronger physiques compared to normal Japanese boxers, so Ippo needs to get used to strong and solid punches and try to dodge Takamura's hooks, which will be Ippo's counter for his fight with Jason. Ippo practiced every day with Takamura, and every time he goes home, he continues to practice outside. As time went by, our hero gradually got used to using the ducking technique. He can now dodge Takamura's hooks and Ippo can now counter. Takamura elbowed Ippo because he didn't want to be embarrassed. Ippo and Jason first met at their weigh-in, and our hero was scared when Jason approached him. But he was greatly surprised because Jason was actually quite nice. Ippo happily conversed using his little knowledge of English. When Ippo got home, he tried to invite his mother to watch his match, but she said she couldn't bear to watch Ippo get beaten up, and she said she would only watch when Ippo promises that he won't get hit by punches. Now the intense match begins. Both slowly approached each other using the peekaboo style, and they were still sizing each other up. Ippo was the first to unleash a powerful right straight, so he was able to control the tempo of that fight. When Jason dodged Ippo's straight, he unleashed a right hook. But here we saw the results of Ippo's hard work, and he was able to dodge quickly. Our hero countered with an uppercut, but it was also dodged. These two repeated this several times, but no one was able to land a hit yet. Little by little, Jason was gaining an advantage in speed and technique, and Ippo got hit by a solid right hook and he was knocked down. Ippo stood up again, but Jason immediately charged at him and almost knocked down our hero again. Fortunately, he was able to grab onto the ropes, and when Jason continued to charge, both their punches connected. Due to this, Jason became scared to charge recklessly. The first round ended. Kamogawa said that the match was fair, it's just that Jason's hook landed first, and he should just continue with their strategy like in the first round. Kamogawa also said, Even if you get hit, don't show that you're hurt. That's the secret in a brawl. The second round began and when Ippo launched an uppercut, Jason countered it, but Ippo didn't back down. He matched it and both their punches connected. Several times they exchanged solid punches, but neither of them backed down. It seemed like a last man standing match because both were receiving solid punches, but neither wanted to give up and just continued the brawl. Jason was surprised when he thought he was gaining the upper hand, but our hero showed that Jason's punches had no effect on him and he continued to match Jason's attacks. After several punches Ippo received, he finally fell down. Everyone thought our hero wouldn't be able to stand up again, 
But to everyone's surprise, he managed to stand up. And when Jason hurriedly tried to end the match, Ippo dodged it and countered with a strong body blow that knocked Jason down. Jason got up and the intense brawl continued. They both continued to deliver solid punches and Jason once again took the lead and cornered Ippo, unleashing a barrage of punches on him. When Ippo was about to fall, Jason threw a solid punch, but our hero dodged it and countered with a series of punches that knocked Jason down again. Since the rookie tournament only allows for two knockdowns, Ippo was declared the winner after knocking Jason down for the second time. The match ended and it was revealed that Jason's ribs were bruised due to Ippo's solid body blow. Ippo thanked Jason for the good fight and Jason wished him good luck to become Rookie of the Year. And that's where this video ends. As we can see, Ippo's start is very impressive and truly exciting, showing great potential. But this is just the beginning and his tougher and more iconic fights are yet to come. We'll talk about those in our upcoming videos. So don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated with the next intense brawls. My name's Onichan Enghan. See you next time, guys.